Good morning. Good morning. Yesterday on uh, Facebook Messenger, I, actually it's been a couple days, um, there's this woman who is not a student and she messaged me and I went back and forth with her for a couple days and she was arguing to stay sick. She had some illness and she, and she was asking, help me, help me. And I was making suggestions, but she kept going to, oh, that's not going to work. Uh -huh. So I, I'm reading this and it was fascinating. Usually I would just drop a conversation like that and not keep engaging. But I wanted to see how far she would go for arguing. And, and she went a few days going back and forth with me. And, but was, as I kept reading this energy, I kept seeing there's something else behind her pattern of arguing. Yeah, yeah. So it, in a lot of ways, we, we, we turn that picture behind the picture. And this is a great concept to understand because a lot of times you have a belief that X is the truth or X is the cause or X is my plight in life. And one of the great parts about all the tools in Mastering Alchemy, particularly when you start playing with that eighth ray concept, mm -hmm. and you start to recognize a whole series of words, for example, and my word is resentment or jealousy or or disappointment, and and that's my belief. That's my that's what's happened. I was disappointed, and uh, the relationship did this when. But there's always a picture behind the picture, and uh, and you mentioned that woman in that conversation to me and even though it was fascinating because you'd say well he, here's a tool have you tried this oh, I'm sure that won't work because my circumstance is and particularly right now in these times these these huge waves of change are you can focus on them as disruptive and how dare they and democracy is at risk mm -hmm. and all the things that externally or you could begin to look at them like wow the you, you know if if everybody is in agreement but you with this course of action kind of changing the flow of the river is pretty challenging mm -hmm. under those circumstances but when you get to a situation like we are right now where you have so much transition and turmoil if you can begin to recognize that maybe my circumstance isn't about this belief that i have is it possible that there is a picture behind the picture yeah when i was when i was looking at her i saw a picture I, 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 like i said i was fascinated how with how it was unfolding and when i looked at it the picture behind her argue, arguing was that growing up she was never listened to. Uh -huh. she, she would have an opinion as a little kid and poo-poo, you know, she was not given any validation, uh, validation yeah, yeah. or credibility. Sure, sure. And so you have to argue nobody, nobody uh, you know, this is my situation and it can't change. That's a tough one, yeah. you know. But so many uh, so many of you, so many of the people that listen to this have those same kind of opinions. Some of them glaring yeah. and some of them as simple as, you know, well, I just don't deserve because I got a, a C on my geometry test. As illogical, irrational as that is, now that you're 40 years old and you're not 14 years old, it still is the driver. Yeah. And uh, one of the other aspects of all this work is present time. Does that belief support me right now? Is this still real? And it's hard to get an answer for that because it's like right there in your face, mm -hmm. this is my truth. But if you can step back and start to look at it, like again, so many people playing Mastering Alchemy have that opportunity to perceive a reality different than the reality. You start to see a picture behind the picture and quite often the picture is not even yours. 
It's somebody saying, you don't deserve, you can't have, you're not worth anything. And we agree to it. And then we begin to proceed accordingly. And when you get to that place, you start to realize that what you're really resentful for, like in this lady, is I had opinions, I had excitement, I had dreams, I had creativity, and nobody listened to me, so therefore I'm not worth anything. Well, and, and nobody listened to me, therefore I have to push really hard. I have to argue and, and go against. Yeah. And, and she wasn't even considering other possibilities. She was just arguing for her limitation. Yeah, and so, and, and I get it. You know, when you're a kid, you're vulnerable. You don't know, you know, you, sure you believe the grown-ups because they're grown-ups. Yeah, yeah. And little kids, they don't know. They just believe it. Right, right. And then they, that becomes our reality. Yeah. So, you know, we should do another one of these conversations about what is your reality? sometime soon you know because we just assume this is you know I've lived in this house for 40 years this is my life really is it have you considered another option mm -hmm. but but and that falls into the picture behind the picture too this yeah. is my truth and this is all I am etc so we should also do another one on arguing for your limitations yes. yeah in fact let's do that next week yeah. because I think that's important but this whole issue of the picture behind the picture if you can just pause get into present time and ask the question I know this is my truth and is there something else that goes on with mm -hmm. this and just for a piece of information one of the things if you can get to that place of just ask that question and then take a pencil and pen and say what other words are similar to this you know jealousy resentment disappointment what else goes along with this what are the other words that I have been aware of in my life and just start writing them down because what happens is all of a sudden you get a word and you realize this isn't the issue yeah this is the issue and amazingly unraveling this in that point of awareness is actually pretty simple because you're no longer arguing for all the charged belief that this is the cause. And, and doing that exercise, when I've done it, you, I, I get a physical sensation when I hit on the right word. Yeah. It's a, ah, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Kind and, of feeling. But see, there's an opportunity here too, is recognize it, and then some people will go, oh no, this is what's been going on. And then they'll start building a story around that. But the opportunity is recognize this isn't the story and this isn't the story either. I can begin to let go. Another session we should do in the context of what is your truth? But what is, what is it you want? And when we ask that question, it's amazing. People don't know. People don't know because I haven't, I've been so consumed with my, I don't know what I want anymore. That's a good one. I could say more about that one, but let's save it for another morning. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. So, how does that play in your, what's the picture behind yeah. your picture? Oh, one more, one more thing about the picture behind the picture. <laughs> when, when I, uh, uh, oops, oops, when I, um, uh, I have kind of a trick where I ask my. I, I don't necessarily say what's the picture behind the picture. I s ask myself, when has this happened to me before? Oh, that's good. So entry I'm looking point. for the pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just noticed I do this odd thing. When have I done that in the past? When have I done it again and again? So I'm looking for a thread. Yeah, but there's a, a, a it's kind of a double-edged sword in a way because without some skills, without some knowledge. You look at where else have I failed, and then when did I do it before, and when did they do it before? So you're not looking for the blame or the guilt. You're looking for, hmm, isn't this an interesting pattern? And when you really begin to look at it that way, very little truth is held in the old stories. You just keep c accumulating, well, like, this happened, and obviously that was true. Well, no. Obviously, it was not necessarily true. And that's where that mastering alchemy tools are just so, so valuable because once, 
we I find that picture, I have a tool to decharge it. And and when you bring it into a point where you're looking at it, it's simply not a truth, and so it doesn't sustain itself. Mm -hmm. But we never examine or never even pause to look. We just move right through the whole process. Yes. So a good suggestion. Yeah. So play with that, and you might find some really valuable opportunity in these times particularly because this is going to get more challenging and more opportunistic depending on if you look at it from is the glass half full or half empty. So we'll talk about that too. Good. What would you like to do now? Breakfast. Breakfast, okay.